Welcome to another episode of 1v1. This one is going to be Scott Pollard and one of my favourite players when he was playing for the Denver Nuggets, Chris Birdman Anderson. I really like Chris Anderson still, but I feel like I owe it to the uh, historic players to get one on the board. So I'm going to control Scott Pollard for this one. Um, making the assumption that I've actually gotten good at this game and that I can actually win with him. So we'll see how it go. This one I'm not going to be able to use the three-pointer and it's probably going to go for a while. Probably going to see some awesome defense. Wow, Birdman with a mid-range shot. That's unbelievable. Oh man, I Now that mi now that Anderson has that mid-range or well, now that I know he can kind of hit from there, I'm not feeling too good about this matchup. <laughs> Cuz um Ah, uh, that's good. Because Scott Pollard's pretty limited offensively. I mean, so is Birdman, but at least he... I mean, until he hit that jump shot, I thought he was limited. Oh, that was a sweet move. One kind of complaint I do have about this game is that we have the awesome Sacramento side 2000-2001 I believe the year what? I can't believe he hit that shot but um, they have that awesome side but no Chris Webber I mean it makes me question why they would even have that side in the first place yeah that wasn't a good move I thought I blocked that so I went for the shot so yeah, I, whoa, nice. So I, yeah, I don't know why they have the Kings if they can't have Chris Webber in the game. I mean, yeah, Vladdy Divac, he was a great player. Um, also liked Doug Christie a lot. But I mean, the, the starting power forward in the game is Scott Pollard. So... That's kind of inaccurate, and it's something that I, yeah, one of the complaints I have about the game. Be would have been great to play as the Sacramento Kings that had that had Chris Webber in it. doing of course Birdman's not going to pay any respect to me past the arc why would he oh what a block and I'm gonna come back come. see that's what I was expecting I was expecting two guys with absolutely no shooting range at all in this game. Oh! I tell you, having a gamepad, it makes all the difference. It's... It's made me enjoy this game so much more. Like, doing the spin moves and... Oh yeah, that's my go-to, I think. It's doing the spin moves so much fun. I wasn't able to do that when I was um, playing with the keyboard. God, my defense is awful. So I kind of have that little go-to move. Yikes, I can't believe I hit that. Hear me saying that a lot. I'm, I'm not expecting these guys to hit any jump shots. 
Just uh, expecting it to be a bit of a dunkathon. I don't know what that move was, but it, it was pretty amazing. So yeah, it's essentially a dunk off. And you know, if it was style, uh, Birdman would be winning because his dunks have been more impressive. But I'm winning on the scoreboard, so I have to say though, my my dribble moves have been pretty awesome in this one, like that. Oh my god. Scott Pollard, where'd you get these moves? Where'd you get these moves, bro? Oh, faked him out. Look at that. Didn't get the hoop, but God, that looks so good. I wonder if that showed up just then. My... MSN screen came up at the worst possible time. That was a sweet dunk. <laughs> oh, little posterizer. This has been pretty entertaining. Oh wait, oh, it fell. Okay. Oh! Yeah, that one deserved a replay. Okay, you went back to that dunk. And that layup miss. What's going on? Okay, I don't understand. Yeah, I've I've developed that little go-to move now. It's okay. I don't I don't plan to play anybody online, so I'm not giving anything away really. Oh, get it back! Get it back! Now run, dunk. I have to take the three. Oh uh, no! Oh. Where's the scoreboard? Run and make a sweet dunk. Oh lame. Where's the scoreboard? I guess the scoreboard doesn't matter because I'm not planning to throw up any threes in this game. Maybe if I pause it, maybe the scoreboard will come back. Who knows? Oh, damn it, where did it go? If anybody watches this and knows how to get the scoreboard back if it's disappeared, send me a comment because this is really kind of an inconvenience. Oh, wish that went in. That would have been sweet. Okay. That's a, that's a better dunk. So, why Birdman and Pollard, you're wondering? Well, both were kind of interesting. Both are kind of interesting characters of the game. Not without their controversies and whatnot. You know, Birdman's a colourful character and Pollard telling kids to do drugs. Jokingly, even though that was kind of... They kind of made more of that situation than it really was. 
But, you know, I, I guess I see the NBA's point of view. They can't have a player endorsing drugs and, yeah, telling kids to do drugs, probably not the best move. I found it pretty funny, though. Oh, it looks like I won. I got one back for the historical players. Got it done with a jump shot, too. Who would have thought? So, I'll just check the box score just to see how many Anderson did score. He got 19, so that he was actually pretty close to me. Oh, beautiful block. Hey, and that's all we got. Awesome. What about Chris Anderson? I hope they got a couple of his dunks. Oh, God. Really? Anyway. 